Hello everyone, Funshine X here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Empyrean Galactic Survival. We are in episode 7, and today we are going to build a ground vehicle. Now a lot of you are probably going to say, why build a ground vehicle? There's no point. And you'd probably be right. <laughs> ground vehicles in this game um, do not have any real benefits over small vessels. Um, they use just as much full, uh, fuel, um, they're not any faster, they're not any more maneuverable actually probably less maneuverable <laughs> so there's really not a point in building a ground vehicle other than just for looks you know having a cool hover bike speeder that kind of thing yeah it's gonna be cool so that's what i want to do i want to make one i have completely salvaged the drop ship there's just some whole blocks left everything else i've completely salvaged and we're going to use to make our new ship and that's gonna be a ground vehicle so you're going to go into your um fabricator and you want to get the following items. You're going to need the main part, which is the ground vessel starter block. And uh, we can look in here and see that that one is in actually in the um, building blocks. And it's one of these first four here. So we've built the base starter before. This uh, ground vessel starter takes a hole in it and hole blocks and a core, just like everything else. But it takes a hover engine. You get a free engine. Um, you do not need any thrusters to provide lift. Um, for the ground vehicle. It's just going to hover a, a few feet off the ground using hover engines. So um, you don't have to make any hover engines other than the one that's necessary for the starter unless you build a really big one that's really heavy. Um, and we're probably going to keep ours pretty small so we might we might need another hover, hover engine, we might not. Uh, and then you need a few things like a cockpit has to have the blue signal because blue is the ground vehicle. Uh, the blue icon I mean. Uh, some kind of generator and some kind of fuel tank as well. Uh, then you need some thrusters, either directional or normal, and some hole blocks, an RCS to kind of control the whole thing, and a spotlight if you want a light on it. So let's head out and build this thing. Uh, is it nighttime? It is nighttime right now. I'm going to take a few lights. Um, let's use these ones. And just put some lights on the ground outside so I can kind of see a little bit better. Because we've still got four and a half minutes of nighttime all right um ugh, stupid radar i built the radar station what do you think of that <laughs> it's pretty cool so you can see the uh this guy is kind of dark but he is just leftover whole blocks that i didn't bother to get rid of everything else has been salvaged all right so let's put some light maybe this is going to be our building area how about here how much does that light up Kind of skip to and then do another light. That'll work. All right. And uh, what's next thing to do? First thing to do, I guess, is to put down your ground vessel starter, and then whole blocks and most likely your cockpit. Get those all set up first. So blue means good, and we'll put our starter block right here. There we go. New ground vessel. You can see, you can kind of see for a minute there was a hover engine right on the bottom. There's your core, um, and the core points the direction that this ship is going to move when you press forward. So we want to put our cockpit facing that way, and we can get started with that. So, um, how do we want to do this? Let's put our cockpit just kind of right on top. Oh, oh man, it went up one. Okay, that's not that bad. Okay, that's fine. Um, and I'm actually going to put, I kind of built this in a creative world um, first, but I want to put a spotlight right there in the front. And I want two directional thrusters as brakes. So let's rotate these around. And these will be my brakes. On the back side, I'm actually going to do a little bit of hole block first. Um, let's see, do I want it here? Yeah, and then I'm going to put my normal thrusters here. These give a lot more power output, so I can go speedy. All right, there we go. That's the basic shape. No, that's not even close to what I'm building. I'm not going to build something boxy like everybody else builds, or that kind of thing. We're going to build something really cool. Um, so the basic shape of it is going to be a horseshoe not in the f going backwards but actually going frontwards so from here you don't want to put anything next to a whole block because it might burn so we're going to go there 
Oh man, did that just add it onto my base? Yeah. <laughs> we, oh, whoa! We flipped the whole thing upside down. Wow. Okay. Got to be careful when you're building around this thing. Oh man, <laughs> what are we gonna do now? Um, I guess. Wow, this is horrible. We could build it upside down, <laughs> and then try and flip it over later. Um, but yeah, I want to go like that. And actually, no, that one's not supposed to go there. We want to get the uh, kind of a sloped block here, this guy, and we'll put him like. Uh, the hardest part of building is the rotating, getting all the angles right. I kind of suck at it. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> right there and right there. Okay. So that's going to go out and then we will go one of these. And I'll worry about the decorations later. Let's just get this guy built and working. So this is, oh and I just built this the complete wrong way didn't I? Because this is the back, no this is the front. I'm so confused with the way it's flipped over. <laughs> Why did it flip over upside down when I built the block? I wonder if I could flip it over again if I just put a block like, no, oh, goodness. Um, if I put a block right here, what's that going to do? Nothing. It's just going to, it's just going to stick into it. Okay. Whoa, it's going nuts. Okay. I think we just need to get him flying and we can try and flip him over. So for that, we'll need an RCS. We'll need the generator and we'll need the fuel tank. Um, I got to decide where I want these right now. This is the front, so let's put these fuel tank. There. Generator here. Is there a side? I don't think there's a top and bottom to that guy. Okay. Fuel tank and generator, and the RCS will... It's the back, yeah. I don't plan on fighting with this ship, so I don't need to, like, make sure these things are totally secure. You know, like, in places that won't get blown up, that kind of thing. Alright, so now it's got an RCS, it's got a fuel tank, it's got a generator. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of fuel in here. And let's get in the cockpit. Oh man, we're upside down. <laughs> and we'll get it Y to turn it on, and it should flip over on its own. Okay, that's what I was hoping. Turn her off, and we can get out. Much better. Okay. So, let me go ahead and uh, finish the aesthetics of it. We've got everything put on it to actually make it run now. Um, so now it's just building what it looks like, and I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty then, we've got the uh, ship built, um, but it's a little bit too dark to show you guys, and I've still got a minute till the sun comes up. Well, I can actually influence that. Let's go ahead and get in the ship, and I'll show you to it in a minute. But if we... Um head east, which is, you know, the direction the sun comes from, you can actually watch the timer. Like, if I stand still, let's stand still. It counts normal seconds. 3, 5, 3, 4, 3, 3, 3, 2, 3, 1. If I head towards the sun, obviously the sun's going to come up faster because I'm going to where it is here, you know. So, if you want it to be sunlight, just head east. <laughs> and you'll have sun. But right now these are both silicon deposits. We have a drone. Oh, crap. I do not have guns in the ship. Oh, we hit some plants. <laughs> All right, let's go this way a little bit. Um, there's this uh, glitch in the new map um, up on the hill there. You can see a bunch of drones. They're actually all dead, so I call them the drone graveyard, and uh, we'll go and check that out this episode too. So let's, whoa, let's find a safe zone here where we're not a lot of, whoa, not a lot of those guys attacking us. You can see these guys. <laughs> things are crazy. I just want to get out of the ship so I can show it to you guys, and then we'll talk about controls and all that kind of stuff. Alright. Looks like we're safe right over here. 
So we'll go ahead and shut her down. Go and stop. All right, anti. We got anybody chasing us? All right, just the little dinosaurs. So we've got uh, this built in uh, Thunderbirds colors. Not Thunderbirds. Blue Angel colors. Sorry, Blue Angels. And the back I'm not too happy with because it ended up pretty boxy. Um, but I like the front. I call this guy the crab. <laughs> He's basically this this cockpit with two big arms with little pinchers coming out. I really like it. Oh, there's a bad guy over there. And from the front, you know, it looks like a little guy coming to get you. But as I was building this, I got really inspired to build something else. And so that'll be coming up soon. I got a little few lights sticking on the edge so you can actually see this machine if it's in the dark. Um, but yeah, nothing nothing too special. Um, I did put the, uh, the the engines, all the engines facing inside. So we've got the two reverse thrusters to break. We've got the left and right thruster. You do not need an up and down thruster on the ground vehicles. Obviously they hover and you don't really need to force them down. The gravity does that. So, yeah, let's talk about controls. When you get in, you know, T to join the cockpit. Um, and then Y to boot her up. Sometimes it doesn't lift off the ground enough. Um, and you won't move. If you do that, you're going to hit shift and space at the same time. If you look over the bottom right, it says booster and there's a full bar. If I hit shift and space, it's going to fly me up and use a little bit of that booster jump. And the bar is a little bit finicky. It, um, it doesn't really show you accurately how much boost you have left, but you can't use it again until it gets full. And now it's white, so I can use it again. But just hit shift and space to bounce up and it should then hover. If that doesn't work, then likely you're too heavy for the number of hover engines. I have two hover engines, so I'm having no problem hovering. And then you can just kind of turn them and go straight. And uh, if you get to a ravine and you need to bounce over it, um, just hit shift and space again to kind of jump. <laughs> there you go. So it's like using your jetpack, but you have to hit the shift and space, not just space. That kind of got me when I was first exploring. Um... So, let's hit the silicon deposit. I need to kill these drones that are over here. A uh, one uh, third person view, this is pretty cool. One thing these the ground vehicles do excel at is going across water because it's, you know, nice and flat. They just kind of hover over it. So, I'm, I'm kind of, I like that. If you ever find, like, an ocean planet or something, maybe a ground vehicle would be nice because they just kind of fly over top. All right, so we... And you see they run into to plants and trees and just kind of like destroy themselves. That's okay. How many bullets do I have before I get in there? I have 18. Anything in the inventory? Another 174. Okay, I think we're good to go ahead and take this drone on. Um, that's just a dinosaur. I have no idea what this thing is. What are you? You're all like bouncy. This is a really weird thing. <laughs> just an just a tentacle growing out of the ground. Nothing, nothing too special. All right, let's get a little bit closer with the vehicle, and then we'll pop out and uh, take out that drone. And I could put you know some weapons on this thing, and I'm I might do that. This was more like a scout ship just to get around the planet fast. So if I need to go mine something, I can get to the. Things. So I think the drone was on the other side. So I think 100 meters away. Yep, it's oh, it's already shooting me. Oh crap! Get out! Get out! Where'd it go? Oh, stop hitting the ship! Goodness! All right, how much damage did that kind of thing do? Actually, not that much. There's nothing that looks like it needs to repair. Cool. All right, we are low on food, so we can't stay out here too long. But this, wow, this is a meeting area for a lot of animals. I could collect a lot of meat here. But let's go ahead and loot this guy. Let's see if there's any other drones. Um, that was an okay haul. Pretty good. I am completely out of iron, by the way. I don't know of any other iron supply on the planet. <laughs> um, so I might be screwed, basically. Um, but this is a big rock, and can we drill into it? We can drill into it. And you can see the silica deposit is inside, so we gotta keep, uh, keep going in. But yeah, the drill is back to its normal functionality that can drill a, a ton of 
um, blocks out at the same time. Or a lot of space. A big diameter, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Alright, hold on. I need to turn sound lower. You can see that I've, like, turned these, like, all the way down and the drill is, like, super loud still. Alright, where's the silicon deposit? Getting close. Right, reload the drill. I don't really need these rocks. I've got so much crushed rock, it's not even funny. Wow, this is not easy to get to, even with the, the better drill. What I would have been fine with is if they had had some way to, like, upgrade your drill. So, you know, like, you start with your standard drill and it's kind of crappy, it digs out really slow, and then you, like, upgrade it and makes it better, and then upgrade it again, and then you have, like, some kind of automated mining maybe after that. That would be really cool. Alright, are we hitting silicon yet? No, these are all rocks still. So maybe the meteor itself didn't bring the silicon here. I was under the impression that the meteor itself was made of silicon, but no, it's just on top of the silicon node. Um, the other thing that would have been cool is if you use left mouse click to like uh, mine and then right mouse click to like clear a large area. And maybe uh, that consumes more ammo, um, maybe it does not drop minerals, so you can't use it to mine, that kind of thing. So that would have been another option I would have been accept acceptable. Oh. The silicon deposit keeps moving. Alright, are these silicon now? I have no idea. They look a little bit different. Yeah, because now it's like up here. Maybe this is the silicon, this white stuff. It looks like rock to me. Huh, did I get any silicon? Oh yeah, we're getting some, okay. So some of this is silicon. I think that's enough mining. I just wanted to experiment um, to see what was actually in these uh, big old meteors. But yeah, made a cool, pretty cool cave looking thing there. Alright, let's go check out the uh, the graveyard over there and give that a try. As far as I know, none of these will attack. They're all kind of just bugged. So maybe we can just go loot them. <laughs> Who knows? All right, so spinning around. Um, ground vehicles, not a lot of practical use, but there's actually some utility use, and that would be if you're on a multiplayer server to race. You know, create like two ground vehicles and then race them around a track. I think that would be really cool. And you could use these deposits as like uh, waypoints. You know, so you have to race to the magnesium deposit, then to copper, then the iron, and then back home or something. And you've got pod racing, right? <laughs> okay, so let's approach with a little bit of caution here. So stop you and get out. Yeah, I have no idea why this is glitched in the game after the last update, but you know, like one of every single type of drone is just kind of sitting here. Let's see if we can climb up this mountain. Yeah, they're all they're all like on and hovering, but none of them actually attack or move for that matter. Wow, there is actually a big drone. That must be the drones that are in space, or who knows? Can we ride one? <laughs> Whoa! I just went right through them. Okay. <laughs> They're not actual solid enemies. Glitched through them. So welcome to the, uh... Oh, that's his spot. <gasps> oh no! He actually came alive! There was one real one in all the... Th in all the bad ones. Alright, so if you go into their spotlight area, they will actually attack. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, let's test and see if we can actually take one out. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, yep, I took him out. Okay, cool. Should we go loot him? <laughs> and see if he's got any loot in him? I can't help if their AS sucks. Nice! Yep, you can loot them. <laughs> okay. Remember, this game's still alpha, so... 
things like this are gonna happen. But I can't pass up all these minerals. I'm trading bullets for minerals, basically. I wonder if I can just loot them before they explode. Let's try that. Let's find one that hasn't blown up yet. Alright, where is your spotlight? Do not go in the spotlight. This must have been something they were just testing, like the strength of different drones or something, so they spawned a bunch of each one. Okay, that's his spotlight. Can I loot him? It'd be awesome if I could take control of him, but no, it doesn't appear you can loot them until they're actually exploded. Cool. Well, that'll help me a lot. Since I'm out of iron, I might actually be able to build something now. So this is actually quite a, you know, save, a safety. Let's, oh, I want to kill a big guy. Let's kill the big guy and then we'll be done. All right, big guy, you ready for this? All right, that was five bullets. Here's 25 more. <laughs> Still not dead, okay. Large minigun drone. There we go. So it took like... Oh, shoot. Man, you guys take a lot of clips. Alright, what do you got in ya? Nothing? Or am I just too low? Whoop, don't go in the spotlight. Alright, jump and click. Ah, uh, yeah, look at all that stuff. Sweet. And I haven't looted that guy either, but I'm not sure if I can get to him. Oh, get him. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> fall damage in the game. There is fall damage. Whoa, this guy's actually moving. Which one are you? Yeah, now they're all like their turrets are moving. What is up with that? <laughs> they're, they're on to me. They're like, someone is blowing us up. I wonder who could it be? It's me. All right, I might come out with some cheaper, um, a cheaper gun and cheaper bullets and destroy the rest of these and loot them another time. But I did want to come check them out, and there you go. That's the drone drone graveyard. A glitch added in the latest patch. All right, so I have a ground vesicle, a vessel, not vesicle. Whoa. We are low on oxygen. Okay, let's get back base because I think if we hit run out of oxygen, we just die. <laughs> Power on, turn around, and go to base. So let me know what you think of my ship. Um, color scheme, blue and yellow, if you like that or not, and if you like this kind of back-heavy ship where the cockpit's in the back and all the you know major stuff's in front. Uh, again, this is just a scout ship, not meant to be attacked, just to kind of to move. I might add some more um, thrusters on the back so he goes a little faster. And some more hover engines, so he has... Maybe maybe that gives you a bigger boost. Maybe that's what more hover engines do. Because it didn't seem to make me go any higher when I added a second one. But I got the spotlight in the front and all the uh, engines in the middle. It's really cool. Okay, so get that oxygen before we run out. And we'll um, check our spoils here. Someone uh, let me know, a couple people did actually, that you can actually just hop in here. Uh, there we go. I would like it if you could just walk in. I mean, it seems like it's not that high off the ground. You should be able to just walk in. Um, yeah, but you can, that works for both of these. This is the science lab. It's just a decoration block, um, at least for now. I'm not sure if any, any time there'll be, like, research that you can do there. Let's get some um, food. So I want to go down to the garden. You can see I've got the, uh, the main area here. There's my view screen. These are actually um, glass, uh, or not glass, uh, windows turned backwards. So one side of the window, it looks like the little kind of grates. And the other side of the window, it looks like a kind of a black screen. So I thought that would be the best for a, a view monitor. And they had a bunch of the decoration blocks in here. These have no functionality at all. Um, there are some Easter eggs in them. I might show you to them in a minute. But we need some of those. Oh, nothing's grown. Hmm. I wanted to eat uh, some canned vegetables, but I don't have any uh, tomatoes or pumpkins right now. So I guess we'll eat some bread. Oh, 
Oh, thank you for increasing my health. I appreciate it. All right, so in here, let's make some wheat. Then we'll make some bread. Space fries. <laughs> Food 75, that's actually not that bad. Should we make a space fry? Sure. Make two space fries. Okay. Got some stuff to eat now. Oops, don't fall on the ground, fry. All right, so let's go look at some of these panels. They're actually quite hilarious. Um, this one is uh, Settlers of Omicron. It's a game you can play. <laughs> um, not really. Uh, this one has... What did I notice weird about this one? Each one of them had something... Um, I'm not remembering now where they got these panels from, but they're pretty cool. This one is cool. Uh, where is it? Nope, not here. Oh, yeah, it is right here. That says, if you can read it, it's very difficult, but it says, self-destruct system uh, requested. <laughs> and the password is circle, 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 dash, circle, 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 dash, circle. And it's waiting me for enter code number two. So I would guess I would type circle, 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 dash... Circle, 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 dash, circle, dash, and it would blow up. Anyway. So there's the cool decoration blocks. I don't know if those will ever serve a purpose later on in the game, if they're always just going to be for decoration. But I built them. And that's, yeah, that's going to do it for this base. A lot of people are saying, why are you just staying on, on, on the ground for so long and on the planet? Um, I want to kind of extend the content. This is an alpha game, so there's not a lot of depth or content to it. So why rush to space and be done with the game? you know, immediately. I'm, I'm having fun just building and exploring and, and kind of learning um, how the different things work. Uh, the next thing we want to do is experiment with ship weapons. When we get up to space, um, I've spoiled it for myself by watching other videos, but I do know when you get up to space, there are a lot harder ships that you have to fight. Um, so you want to bring a lot of weapons. And we're going to go ahead and do like a, almost like a shooting range kind of experiment. Um, we'll probably use the drone graveyard up there. Um, to see how much damage, the range, you know, the accuracy of all the weapons. So come back next time and we'll um, just attach weapons to our to a ship. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the scout ship that I built already or another one. Um, if you guys want to help me name it, I kind of gave it the name The Crab. If you want to name it something else, let me know in the comments below. And uh, I'll actually name it after you guys or, or name it something cool. Other than that, I hope you guys liked this episode of Empyrean. Uh, hit the like button if you did. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter at FunshineX. And thanks for watching. Catch you later. Hope to see you next time. Bye.